In this tutorial, we are going to crochet my Flora Blossom blanket pattern. This pattern also comes as a shawl. The written pattern, as well as everything I'm using in this tutorial, will be linked in the drop down description box below, or you can visit my website, johnamartinez.com. This blanket shown is about 50 by 50 inches. It is laying on a queen sized bed. I am still working on this blanket, so be sure to check out my Instagram or the written pattern photos on Etsy and Ravelry to see the finished blanket. As always, if you enjoy content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. For materials, I used a worsted weight yarn. I also used an L 8mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle for weaving in ends, and a stitch marker can come in handy. Please check out the drop down description box below for additional information on materials. Round 1. Create a slip knot of your choice. Chain 4. Slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. Chain 2. This chain 2 will not count in this pattern. It is simply to get your hook up to the right height to start your puff stitches. Now place 8 puff stitches into the ring. For this puff stitch you're going to yarn over 3 times You will have a total of 7 loops on your hook. Once you have 8 puff stitches, single crochet into the top of your first puff stitch. Round 2. Chain 1 and puff stitch into the corner space. The corner space is the space made by the joining single crochet of your previous round. For the rest of this round, we're going to be working in between our previous puff stitches. V-stitch into your next space. 
A V stitch is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the same space. Now begin a round repeat. Double puff stitch into your next space. A double puff is going to be two puff stitches into the same space. V stitch into your next space. We're going to repeat this a total of three times. Once I have this completed, I will show you how my work is looking. This is how my work is looking after I have done the repeat three times. Puff stitch into your corner space. Single crochet to the top of the beginning puff stitch. Here is my work at the end of round two. Round three. Chain one and puff stitch into your corner space. Five double crochet into the V stitch. Now begin a round repeat. Double puff. Five double crochet into the V stitch. Repeat this three times total. Again, once I have completed these stitches, I will meet back up and show you how my work is looking. This is how my work is looking. Puff stitch into the corner space. Single crochet to the top of the beginning puff stitch. For this round, you should have 20 double crochet and 4 double puff stitches. 
Round four. Chain one and puff stitch into the corner space. We're going to increase into each one of our previous five double crochet. So place two double crochet into each double crochet five times. Now begin a round repeat. Double puff stitch. Two double crochet into your previous double crochet five times. We're going to repeat this three times total. Once I come to the end, I will show you how it looks. This is how my work is looking. Puff stitch into your corner space. and single crochet into the top of your beginning puff stitch. At the end of this round, we should have 40 double crochet and four double puffs. Round five. Chain one and puff stitch into your corner space. Now double crochet, chain one, nine times across your previous double crochet. Double crochet into your last double crochet. From here we can begin the round repeat. Double puff, double crochet, chain one, nine times. Double crochet into your previous double crochet. Repeat this a total of three times. Puff stitch into the corner space and single crochet into the top of your beginning puff. At the end of round five, you should still have 40 double crochet and four double puffs. Round six. Chain one and puff stitch into your corner space. V stitch into the space between your double puff stitch and your double crochet. From here on out, you will have a V stitch into this space until your blanket is finished.
skip the double crochet, chain one double crochet, and single crochet into the chain space. Chain three, and skip the double crochet, chain one double crochet, single crochet into the chain space. We're going to do this chain three, three times total. Now skip your double crochet, chain one double crochet, and v-stitch into the space on this side of the double puff stitch. Now begin a round repeat. Double puff stitch. V-stitch into the space, skip, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and single crochet into the chain space. Now make three chain threes. Then skip, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and V-stitch into your space. We're going to repeat this round repeat a total of three times. Once I get to the end, I will show you how my work is looking. This is how my work is looking. End this round as usual. For this round, you should have 8 V-stitches and 12 chain 3s, along with your 4 double puffs. Round 7. Chain 1 and puff stitch into your corner space. This round is going to be very similar to round three. Five double crochet into your V-stitch. Single crochet into the first chain space. Then chain three, single crochet into your chain space two times. Five double crochet into the V-stitch. Now begin a round repeat. Double puff stitch. Five double crochet into your V-stitch, single crochet into your first chain space, chain three, single crochet into your chain space two times, five double crochet into the V-stitch. We're going to repeat this a total of three times. And each round the same, puff stitch into the corner space and single crochet into the top of your beginning puff. It's totally normal for this round to curve up a little. Round eight, chain one and puff stitch.
increase into each one of your previous double crochet. When this is done, I will show you my work again. This is how my work is looking. Single crochet into your chain space. Chain 3 and single crochet into the next chain space. Two double crochet into double crochet five times. Double puff stitch. Once I have that completed, I will meet back up. This is how my work is looking. Now just repeat this around. At the end of this round, we should have 80 double crochet, four chain threes, and four double puffs. Round 9 Chain 1 Puff Stitch Double crochet, chain 1, 9 times Then double crochet into double crochet Single crochet into chain 3 Double crochet, chain 1, 9 times, then double crochet into double crochet. Double puff. Now just repeat this around. Double crochet, chain 1, double crochet over your double crochet, and then single crochet into your chain 3, double puff in all the double puffs, and end this round as usual. This round will have 80 double crochet, 4 single crochet, and 4 double puffs. Round 10 is going to be one of your repeat rounds to complete your blanket. Chain 1, puff stitch. V-stitch into that first space. This round is going to be very similar to round 6. V-stitch into your first space. Skip, double crochet, chain 1, double crochet, single crochet into your chain space. Chain 3. Skip, double crochet, chain 1, double crochet, and single crochet into the chain space. 3 times total for 3 chain 3's. Now I have three chain threes. V stitch into the single crochet. Skip double crochet, chain one double crochet, single crochet into your chain space. Make three chain threes. V stitch into the space before the double puff. Double puff. To complete this round, you will have a V-stitch on each side of all of your double puffs. Then you will have a V-stitch into each one of your single crochets. In between your V-stitches, you will have three chain threes. End this round as usual. Round 11. Chain 1 and puff stitch. This round is going to be similar to round 7. Five double crochet into each V stitch and two chain threes. Double puff into each one of your double puffs and end the round as usual.
Here is my work at the end of round 11. Round 12, chain 1 and puff stitch. This round is like round 8. Increase to 10 double crochet. And make 1 chain 3. Double puff into your double puffs and then just repeat this around, ending as usual. For this round, you should have one chain three in between each one of your 10 double crochet arches. End this round as usual. It's best to double check that you have 10 double crochet over each arch, otherwise your next rounds will not work properly. Round 13, chain 1 and puff stitch. Round 13 is similar to round 9. Double crochet, chain 1 double crochet over your double crochet, then single crochet into your chain 3. Double puff into your double puffs and end the round as usual. To complete your blanket, repeat rounds 10 through 13. Once the blanket is of desired size, slip stitch instead of single crochet to the top of your beginning puff stitch. I recommend changing colors after rounds 5, 9, or 13. And then I like to go 4 rounds before I change colors again. So here I have completed rounds 10 through 13 in this other color. I hope you enjoy making this Flora Blossom blanket. Again, if you're interested in purchasing the written pattern, you should be able to find it on Etsy and Ravelry. And thank you for helping support this channel. Other ways you can help support this channel for free is to hit the like button, leave me a comment, even if it's just an emoji, or say hi, share this tutorial with your friends, and of course, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have a lovely crochet day and to see you again in my next tutorial.